partly what you're talking about is time. And time is, is uh, perceived and used really differently even in, in my little lifetime. Certainly with our telephones, the things you were describing about the, the constant keeping in touch and the... It, 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 I remember many years ago when the Berlin Wall, f w there were so many things, and I remember saying, this happened in computer time. That's the first time I remember making that connection. But what does that mean, computer it, it, time? It, it, so much faster than we could ever have imagined events would transpire. Mm -hmm. Like, like uh, on daily on the street, I'm in touch with mm -hmm. somebody that we're meeting at a certain point in a certain place, and it, it, it instant, instant. Yeah. Um, I think there's a subtle there's a subtle point there that that when I was in high school, if I wanted to meet someone in the park, and we made a plan to meet in the park, you had to go to the park. <laughs> yes. There was no choice because you couldn't Or else be a real them. bad guy. Yeah, because yes. they would just go to the park and yes. they'd be stuck there. And now there's an entire generation that has never had that experience. Yes. And because they've never had that experience, to them it would seem crazy that you would have a world where you couldn't just cancel or change a plan because all of the social conventions have changed. But here's the important thing is that when I was in high school, I didn't feel as though anything was missing. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, if only I could reach this person. That was just some conjectural sci-fi future. So I think that with every generation's technology, they think they're in the modern world and they're not thinking, oh, I can't believe I'm living in this primitive culture. They just take for granted the technology they know and they just call that reality.